Hey YouTube, it's Shaker here and we're bringing you another one. I'm a digital artist who likes to watch movies with the people and we're about to do a top 10 best Robin Williams movies, okay? Now listen, I didn't see every single movie that he got out there, but I did see the movies that I put on this list. So that's the movies that I'm going to have to rank, okay? I'm sure there's some out there that I did see that didn't make the list. So you let me know in the comments what I'm missing. <laughs> Let's get into it. Number 10, Patch Adams. And this is an old movie. Actually, I need to put it back on the list of watching for the first time in a long time because it's been a long time. But basically, he's a doctor or he wants to be a doctor in school to be a doctor. He's trying to convince the people that, yes, we have to be good doctors, but we also have to be good friends to our patients and we have to make them happy. And this movie is the definition of understanding that joy and laughter is a cure in itself. And of course, we need our medicines, we need our surgeries, we need the helps that we need, but we also need laughter and we need joy because that can get you out of a lot of things. And that's what this movie is about. Okay? Sometimes you just gotta sit back and watch something funny. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Okay, moving on. Number nine, Flubber. If you don't know about that Flubber life, if you don't know about that green blob, first of all, well, we already know Robin Williams is and was hilarious. But this movie is so funny. And he's basically, it's giving, it's giving a little bit of uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids vibes. Like, he's a good dad, but, you know... Well, in this case, good husband. But, you know, his science is really important to him. And he he really trying to make it big. Like, he got this vision. Like, he got this thing he trying to do. But, you know, <laughs> the wife is like, but get it together. <laughs> we don't got time for the games. And he figured out something amazing. He's just trying to convince the people, like, did you see what I made? It's one of those type of movies. But the thing is, we rooting for him. We're a thousand percent rooting for him in Flubber. Number eight, and to be very honest, I really wanted to push this higher. <laughs> I wanted to go higher, but there's so many good movies he got that I couldn't do it. Number eight, one hour photo. Listen, what the Jeffy Dahmer, what's his name? Jeffy Dahmer, is that right? What the Jeffy Dahmer is going on? Okay, so he's basically a Jeffy Dahmer without the Jeffy Dahmer. <laughs> okay, like, he basically he's a you know if you know about that Sears life you know when you went to go get a photo you know you take your picture you take the little the little thing majiggy you take it to the thing and then they print your photos for you because you know that's old school we don't do that no more we don't do that no more but back in the day that's what they used to do but you know he's seen all the photos so he was stalking okay stalking do you understand nah -uh. he had to go <laughs> get this man out of here he's a creep he's crazy Okay, but what's amazing about Robin Williams is that we know him as a comedian and he's a phenomenal comedian. But to see him as this weirdo, to see him as this crazy guy, really good. Like, actually, I need to put this one on the list because I've seen it, but it's been a long time, y'all. So we're going to rewatch it again. I'm sure it'll be hilarious. So stay tuned for that. Number seven, Captain Hook. Now, listen, now, this is one of those movies where it's been a like a long time like i seen it but it's been a long time so basically he's peter pan okay he's playing peter pan but like older so his memory because you know peter pan is a kid thing but when you become an adult you lose your memory so he's older now whatever but then you know captain hook still you know running rampant so he has to go back as an adult <laughs> amazing i mean that's the type of stuff we love okay it's very old so it has it, it's giving the texture the film is giving texture but it's very very good very nostalgic very warm he's already just so warm so him in this peter pan way like ah just really 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 good number six jack if you don't know about jack jack is giving big if you know big then you know jack because it's a very similar thing, just two different concepts. We'll talk about Big another time because we need to do a whole, what's his name? Tom Hanks? Is that his name? Y'all know no names. We need to do a whole thing for him. But Jack is a situation where 
his his cells they grow really quick so by the time he was in like I don't know elementary school or whatever it was he was a 40 year old man maybe it wasn't elementary middle school whatever grade he was in he was already like a grown man but he wasn't a grown man he was the age he was it's just his body was gr- such a really warm it's giving Forrest Gump which I just did Forrest Gump so stay tuned for that because I that was my first time seeing Forrest Gump hello Hilarious. I can't wait for you guys to watch this video. I'm still editing it, so stay tuned. It takes a while to edit these movie ones. Okay. Anyway, but very much a like simple, pleasant character. And he's he's funny, but not the typical funny that we're used to seeing in Robin Williams because he's playing the character well. And I love that for us. Number five, robots. Underrated. I have a list, top 10 underrated films. That's going to be on the list, okay? Robots is so good. He played this rankity dank dank robot. One of them robots is really like a little cray cray, kind of like an old uncle. So you got, you like, you, you know, he's a nice guy, but he a little, you know, he a little, so, but he warm hearted, you know, body parts have fallen all with your way. <laughs> body parts are falling all with your way, Okay really good and then the movie itself is so good such a good concept i feel like no one's ever done an all robots theme like we've seen robots in movies but not like this and, and like the world itself is robots and i thought that was such a great concept so to see him played in this movie and because he's so whimsical and, and silly and wacky he fits perfectly in this world number four toys you don't know about that life. you don't know about that toys life first of all fantastic movie basically him and his sister there's a whole situation about the sister but we're not gonna go there because i don't want to spoil nothing but him and his sister was left a toy factory from their parent her, the dad because the dad died or whatever so they was like but we're not really trying to he like i ain't really trying to inherit it for real for real like i know he died or whatever but i ain't really trying to take on that responsibility and then the uncle come in like well i'ma take over the responsibility but he like real military and he he doing a whole nother other scheme situation <laughs> but this movie is so good so nostalgic i mean so clever so funny um you're really rooting for him and his sister they are some whack job crazy people okay especially the sister but they're really wacky um the vibes of the movie the temperature of the movie and this is robin williams as we know him crazy he ain't holding back anything okay and i love that even though the dad died this is another movie about like joy and like they weren't grieved over the death of the parent they were just like okay that's what it is all right, let's keep on moving. And they were happy and they celebrated it through their actions. It's just he needed a little bit of a mature kick of taking over the responsibilities of the, of the, of the factory. But other than that, phenomenal movie. Number three, I just wish I could put this higher. I wish I could put this higher. But this is the highest I can put this. I'm telling you, it's the highest I can possibly put this. Number three, Aladdin. He plays the genie of of a latin i could cry right here i mean nostalgia is not even enough of a word for a latin uh, you know people have to realize that a latin is such a unique case for children because we are used to a disney princess being the main character and then the prince is like the extra character and then the movie goes on so it was geared a little bit more towards girls and although boys watched it it was get a latin was a movie geared towards boys because the prince was the main character although jasmine is probably the best disney princess but that's not what we talk about that's not what we talk about right now but the point is is that a latin was such a groundbreaking movie for our gen our kids the kids the boys so that was really great for us and then the thing about the genie was it's like ah! <laughs> they built this character for him like no one could have played that character like that like you he took that mystical powerful being and made him so whimsical so wacky so crazy and and we we, we were we, he ate us up he ate us up with that role 
and the thing is it's animated so the fact like sometimes the characters get lost in the animation in a bad way he gets lost but yet you know he's present like it's so delicious and then they did the remake don't get me wrong or the live action not the remake they did the live action don't get me wrong uh what's the man Will Smith did a he did a good job. I'm not gonna say he did a bad job. It wasn't Robin Williams, but he did a good job. But I was very upset that he played Will Smith because if anybody could have played that role well besides Will Smith, would have been Jack Black. How did you miss the opportunity of placing Jack Black in that role? Jack Black is not Robin Williams, but man, Jack Black is good. And that's who should have been Genie in the Aladdin. Number two, Jumanji. That's it. <laughs> that is it. Number two, Jumanji. You understand? Phenomenal concept. Phenomenal movie. Do not get me wrong. The remakes that they made, Kevin Hart and The Rock, was really good. One and two. But guess what was the best part about that movie? Jack Black. <laughs> What am I? What, what, what are you not getting? What are you not getting? Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. Point is, Jumanji was kind of terrifying on the low. If you really want to think about it, like he got sucked up into that game for what twenty something years or whatever the number was for year. Maybe I think maybe longer. I don't know. He was stuck in a jungle. <laughs> And then was brought back out of the game years later. And traumatized is not a question. Trauma and then not only was he traumatized, but then the girl who last saw him was traumatized. So they like, we got to finish the game. We ain't finishing no game. You know, I need to do this movie too. We need to rewatch this movie. It's been a long time. But point is phenomenal. I love this, um, the spider moment. I love the moment when the, the, the uh, flood happens in the house. That is the coolest moment. The lion situation. Oh my gosh. It's so good. So good. The little boy turns into a monkey. Oh, it's uh, so good. Now, before we do number one, and before we get into those honorable mentions, I want you to like, subscribe, push that notification button, because we're going to keep bringing this stuff to you. Let's get into the honorable mentions. Now, I don't have many. Usually, I have three, but this time, I only got one. The honorable mention I want to mention is AI, artificial intelligence. Another under, very underrated movie. One of my favorite movies. If I do a top, like, 10, maybe top 20, it's on the list, okay? Now... He plays like a Google character in the AI space. Like he's like in he's like a, a Googler. You can go and ask him all these random questions and he'll answer them pretty well. You just gotta watch how you question it, and you only get a certain amount of questions per how much you spend, okay? Um, and with the little boy who's is basically the story of Pinocchio. That's what this movie is. It's a digital, uh, 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 robotic, futuristic AI version of Pinocchio. Very good, good story. And he just plays this. Uh, I think it's Doctor Who. I think that's the name of him. Doctor Who. Tell me if I'm wrong. I don't know in the comments. Point is, he is answering the questions because this little boy is just on a hunt to find his mom. That's all he's trying to do is get back to his mom, get back to his mom, get back to his mom. But he's a robot, but he's a child robot. So he, there's the, the question of, is he programmed or is there true love? And that's what this is such a beautiful story. It makes me cry every single time I watch it. I'm getting emotional thinking about the movie. Such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful movie. And that's the character. And the reason why he's in the honorable mention is because it's such a short little cameo part, but it still plays so well. And the animation is super, super cool. Now, before we get to number one, the one we've been waiting for, let me know in the comments if I did anything wrong which i probably did because i know i missed a lot of movies i know i missed a lot of points and just let me know in the comments down below number one mrs doubtfire was that not going to be number one <laughs> although aladdin and jumanji was fighting <laughs> fighting for number one but when i really thought about it i was like mrs doubtfire is so funny he gets you get lost in the story he gets lost in the character like you really believe that there is a Mrs. Doubtfire. So I was like, yeah, he played that role. And it's so, so funny. Like, 
the whole time? <laughs> that that little moment, that shift of her realizing that her ex-husband was playing this nanny the whole time is the best part of the whole movie. Like, that is a very necessary scene because you felt it. You were like, the whole time? This whole time? So, so good. But it was a lovely story because he went, even though he wasn't the best dad, he was a fantastic dad. Because the reason why... They were getting divorces because he didn't never take nothing serious. And she wasn't, she was over it and tired of it. But the fact that he went this length to spend time with his children, to spend time, and I mean, a little bit of it was selfish because he was trying to prove the point that he can take care of his family. But the other side was because he loves his children. So it was a very great concept. And I love that, oh, the ending part when they're when he um actually becomes Mrs. Alfire for the show that he's, you know, get, now is getting paid for. And then he sends us a, a sweet, kind message through the TV to his wife. And I thought that was just so beautiful that although they are apart, although they split up, although they divorce, they can become friends and they can take care of their family together. And I just thought that was so beautiful i hope you guys enjoyed this top 10 let me know in the comments if i missed anything if you have not already don't forget to like subscribe push that notification button because we're going to keep bringing this stuff to you that's it uh what are you doing i know you're not about to leave it's mad buttons down there you ain't push out one of them you better subscribe to my channel see you soon Daddy?